Hey guys, it's John with Geek Beat, and today we are going to unbox the Thekus 8810UG Rack Mount NAS. Okay guys, we got this nice big package here, and it's heavy too. Ugh. So, let's take a look at it. This is what happens if you order one of these cool little rack mount NAS units from Thekus. Uh, I was impressed when I saw, originally they, they you know, shot me an email and, and uh, we chatted about this and I was impressed with the price point actually because this unit that we're going to look at comes in right around $2,000. So if you're, if you're needing a rack mountable uh, NAS device, this is certainly a uh, good sized unit that's also quite affordable. We'll turn this around so you can uh, you can see a little bit here uh, what we got going on. But it's it tells you right on the box one thing that's really very important: 10 gig E included. So that's a big deal at this price point. So um, a lot of a lot of networks can't necessarily handle a 10 gig E uh, device, but you can start. We're starting to see switches that'll go for. For even like maybe like $500 for a 24 port gigabit ethernet one that has a couple of 10 gig E ports on it. So what you could do is plug in your NAS device on a 10 gig E port and then all the other devices, uh, nothing will ever be starved for getting as much bandwidth as it needs from a unit like this. So here is the uh, inside of this box. I'm probably going to have to pull it down in a minute. Uh, two power cables. Uh, I think we know what that means. This should have dual power redundancy, which would be nice. Uh, we've got an Ethernet cable in here. We've got a bunch of screws, which I'm assuming are for mounting drives, some paperwork, etc. Uh, what do we have here? I'm guessing that these are rails. Let's see. Open these bad boys up. And indeed they are mounting rails. So what that means is that you would be able to slide this unit in and out of the rack on the rails. That's very, very helpful. Uh, and that's something I would always look for uh, whenever you can get it because it makes it convenient to access and, and work on things. There we go. Well, that's a nice size unit. It's not like ridiculously deep or anything like that. Let me pull it out of here. We'll shove that box right off the table. Okay. Now let's see here. Best way to open this. Well, that's good. You don't have to lift it up to get it out of the bag there. Right off the bat, I'll tell you one thing that I like. Uh, I don't know if this is really standard or not, but these are like aluminum grab rails here on the front. They look really nice. It's a good looking unit. So it looks like there's a front mounting plate here with a couple of, of kind of quick mount screws. You notice, if you've never seen this type before, when you, you unscrew it a little bit and then it pops out. And uh, that's how you know it's open. And so then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drive bays here. And let's see, uh, in our bag we've got some keys. Let's see what happens when we take one of these little trays out, just for grins. Let's, uh, let's grab this one here. So you just stick the key in there, we'll turn it to open it like that, and then let me figure out how this works. Let's see, there we go, push, push there, and what have I done, Ken? Let's see, push, did I lock it? Oh, maybe it was already unlocked and I locked it. Okay, here we go. It's hard to do when you're not looking directly at it. There we go, push. Oh, there we go, okay, so it was unlocked. Slide that out. So that's where we'll mount our uh, three and a half inch drives. I'm sure you could use an adapter and stick two and a half inch SSDs in there as well. Uh, and it will just slide back in there and plug in, so that's good. It's got a nice little display here on the front. 
Uh, looks like we've got some buttons, Ken. Any idea what these buttons will be? It looks like maybe for manipulating the menu here. Up, down, return, escape, I'm guessing. Over here on the front, we've got a couple of USB ports. And it looks like maybe some reset buttons and maybe a power button. All good. And let's take a look at the back. In the back now, we've got, yes, we've got dual power supply, so that's awesome. Um, if you have a situation where you can feed each of these power supplies into a different circuit breaker, uh, then if one you know blows out, then you'll still have power coming in for the other. We've got a VGA port. We also have an HDMI port. That's interesting. And two USB 3.0s, two LAN adapters, uh, and we've got four more USBs back here. And look, this must be our big bad 10 gig E port right here. That is a lot of stuff to cram into one chassis. Let's open it up just for fun. So we'll take that and I'm guessing that will let me somehow, let's see, I think I slide this backwards. It's my guess, well, lift, this is lift here. No, pull, and there we go, pull back and lift up. Also, I just noticed they've got uh, plastic on here to cover the top of the case for protection, but you'd peel that off when you stick it in the rack, so that way you don't scratch it up in transit. Wow, look at that, that's good looking. So we've got a lineup of four different fans here, and so all of our drives would be here. You can imagine it's sucking the hot air in this way. Um, you can even see the little arrows here. Suck the air in this way, pass it over here, out through the grills on the back of the chassis. And then here on the motherboard, we've got a nice big CPU uh, cooling fan. It's got one stick of memory installed. Uh, I'm looking at it, it looks like it's a four gig uh, stick of DDR3 1600. And look, there's three other slots, so you could you could really load this thing up with a bunch more RAM. Um, and other than that, it looks like a fairly standard motherboard to me. We've got a little riser card here where that 10 giggy uh, adapter plugs in, and we've got a nice uh, big you know dual power supply situation going on there. So it's a clean chassis, it's a uh, good size. Uh, I'm looking forward to plugging stuff in on it. And of course, the other thing that we want to take a look at is, is the operating system that they've got installed and all the apps and what kind of things you can use it for in a small, medium business environment. So that's your first look at this bad boy. We're gonna get it racked up. Ken over here is gonna go crazy with it. And we'll do a full on review and let you guys know how it goes. So thumbs up on YouTube. Keep following along, geekbeat.tv, and we're out of here.